What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to another episode of Item Crash Diecast. And anyway, uh, my internet's still off. So, um, but the good news is that uh, we're switching to Xfinity. We've been using CenturyLink for quite some time, uh, for a number of years, but now we're switching back to Xfinity, since, especially since it's a little bit cheaper now. Uh, we'll see where that goes with that. But anyway, um, I just want to uh, speak on these you know, cars that I bought from Dollar Tree um, today. It's starting not to because, you know, the transport my transportation situation is still on the rocks um but at least i got my my trusty bicycle you know that helped me take a few shortcuts around town you well actually uh straight into um a nice neighborhood by the way and ain't that ain't that much traffic that's why i like taking that shortcut and then you take a back alley and through these uh, mom and pop shops and there you go you're right there at Dollar Tree or Kroger uh, if you want to go there too uh, but anyway um, I just went to see if they uh, they re-upped on the Hot Wheels in the Matchbox well the Matchbox you know there was a few new cars a few new uh, but it was really more the same of what I already had bought from there before but as far as the Hot Wheels go, um, it was indeed a brand new restock. And there you have it, you know. That's why I bought all these and brought them home. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's get cracking. Now, the first one I want to talk about is this... Uh, Let's start out with the, the Pagani Zonda R. Opening up these cars ain't never gonna be perfect, but I guess that's part of the fun. But yeah, uh, Basically, there you go. All right, uh, gonna have to bring it up some like this. You know, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, the white with the yellow wheels. I still, I still prefer the black one. Uh, I like that one a lot better than this one, but I'll take the white one. And you know what? Um, uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, Hot Wheels did a really nice job on this casting. And I don't even like Zondas. I love Pagani's, but Zondas, they were usually kind of ugly to me. Especially from the front. I'm just not a fan of cars with, you know, these pointy noses. But anyway, um, it's pretty nice though. I'm not a big fan of roof scoops either, but you know, since this is a race car after all, which you know, hence the the names under R, you know, it fits. There's the the back, and the rear, and then there's the front. got Pirelli so yeah it's pretty nice all right um, let's talk about this one the, the Lotus Evija Lotus Evija boy they be coming up with some names for your ass don't they Yeah, um, this is actually my first one of this casting in red. 
Never got a chance to get the green one. Uh, Walmart be tripping. And since, you know, that's besides uh, Dollar Tree and Kroger, you know, and sometimes Walgreens, you know, uh, that's really the on, the only game in town for Hot Wheels. And match, well, I take that back. But anyway, um, I'm just glad to have this one. Uh, I admit, you know, you know, I, I I tried to see if I you know could spot a super, the super treasure hunt version of this, um, but you know to no avail. But anyway, hunting for super treasure hunts ain't something that I waste my time on anyway. Uh, but I still like the basic one. It's a really nice looking car. Especially if you're into supercars like me. That actually says Lotus. It ain't even tampoed on. Uh, that was actually casted into the metal. Which is pretty nice touch. That's the front. So yeah, um, this is it, the Lotus Avia. All right, um, now this this one is the the rematch. You know what? I'm gonna save that. For, uh, now uh, this is the '89 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3S. Um, yeah. Um, I already got a couple of these in other colors, uh, mainly red, the red one and the dark navy blue one. Um, I thought my my favorite one was going to be the red one, but I kind of I kind of think that this green one might you know might be my favorite. But anyway, uh, let's crack it. Wow, this is nice. I mean, this is really nice. Really like the way they did this green. This is so nice. Of course, uh, wouldn't say headlights, just uh, the marker, the signal markers. And then the tail lights. Sorry for the long wait, but this is real nice. Uh, I like the gold wheels on it, too. It really fits, the, especially these gold lace wheels. Gives it a nice uh, BBS touch, old school BBS touch. Sorry for the blurring in and out. But yeah, uh, this is nice uh, as far as the basics go. Um, yeah. This is my favorite mainline version of this car casting, uh, by far. <laughs> All right, um, now we get to the Remax Nevera. The Remax Nevera. All right, let's crack it. <laughs> Excuse me. And yes, uh, this is new for 2023. Let's put that to the side. All right. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted this car. I really want this casting pretty badly. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about this car. Well, yeah, uh, to get it in hand is pretty much what I expected. 
uh, plastic. Uh, yeah, it is a bit plasticky. But yes, they did it pretty uh, tastefully, I would say. I, there was a couple of these, in fact, uh, there was about three of these. I just decided to get one uh, just to see what my thoughts were going to be. Um, I'll probably get another one later on. Uh, but anyway, this is really nice looking car. Pretty nice looking casting. They did the, the front and then the rear. And the wheels don't look bad on it either. <clears throat> uh, the only thing that I would say is that they probably could have used a little bit more metal. Uh, especially around the door. Uh, on the bottom, on the side. But, you know, I could see where they were coming from. It's easier to, you know, put the little, use the part of the interior for these black parts on the side. Besides saving money, you know, it's it makes it a lot easier to uh, put the car together. I mean, well, makes it a lot easier to to put the car together without uh, painting this part uh, black. But I would have still would have preferred, you know, this bottom part right here on the side under the doors being uh, metal. I mean, yeah, and then just having this part like a uh, uh, plastic but it still looks pretty nice though you know this blue uh, actually if you don't know anything about this car before I sign off on this one um, this was it's basically like a twin to the Pininfarina Batista you can see it kind of got the same uh, kind of uh, architecture but I say the the Batista still looks a little bit better it looks a little bit smoother it's not a, not quite as busy as the, the, the Navara but I still like both cars though you can see what I mean That's the Batista. And that's the Nevera. Okay, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, for I'm the final two cars, uh, we got the BMW 507 from Hot Wheels, uh, also new for 2023. All right, let's open this first one. Yeah, man, this is a car that I've been wanting to get my hands on the most as far as the new models go. Um, really wanted this car. Um, knew a lot about it before you know, Hot Wheels made one. Uh, I just think it's so beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful cars of all time, in my opinion. Probably up there in my top 10, if not my top 20. Top 25, yeah, uh, I put it right there. But yeah, I really like BMWs. This is probably probably my favorite one. Um, wow. Uh, just because of just because of how it looks, you really can't you know find a better looking Beamer than this one. But a couple of things to to mention: um, this steering wheel. Um, 
is right there on the dashboard. I mean, just no, uh, no stalk, you know. But anyway, at least it's better than, you know, putting it on the floor. Like they do with a lot of steering wheels uh, from Hot Wheels. So, this is actually a blessing in disguise. I would rather have that. I would rather have this, I mean. But yeah, I like the, the red interior on the white body. That's pretty nice. Very classic sports car, indeed. Yo, this one, it's a, it's a little underrated. Now, a lot of people, they've been talking about once they got this one. Uh, they didn't like how the, the taillights wouldn't paint it, which is, you know, a fair point. But, you know, it's not really something that I worry about. Because, you know, when you're a customizer like me, you know, you really don't care about, you know, headlight and taillight tampos no more. You really don't. You really don't care anymore. Because, you know, it gets to a point where it's expected that Hot Wheels ain't going to do that. Unless the manufacturer really insists on it. Which, most of the time, they really don't. They just see it as another toy car, I guess. But anyway, um, really like this one. I'm hoping to get that, that 89 Mercedes 560 SEC. If I got that right. Oh, man, that thing is sweet, too. But you know what? Uh, this this BMW 507, it just might be my favorite, my favorite new model. Just because of how it looks. Um, and the fact, I love classic sports cars, especially the classic European sports cars. It's probably my favorite thing to collect. Yeah, here's this other one. I bought another one just so I can customize it. Uh, but that's going to be in the works for another time. But anyway, I'm just glad to have, just glad to have one, let alone two. So yeah, uh, the BMW 507, folks. So anyway, um, I guess that would be it. Um, that would be it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I mean, if you want to. Uh, ain't gonna force nobody to do a damn thing. Uh, but as far as my channels go as far as my work on this channel goes the proof is in the pudding i would say so anyway i'm out y'all goodbye